Hello, this is Anthony from Euler TV and I'm excited as I have Professor Dimitrios Bumpas from the University of Athens here with us today. And we will discuss about the new Euler recommendation for the management of systemic lupus erythematosus. So Professor Bumpas, welcome. And you were about to present um, the, in the recommendation session about the new task force and the new effort Euler has made uh, to create guidelines for the management of systemic lupus erythematosus. Would you like to give us an overview of the new guidelines and what is really novel about this year? Thank you, Anthony. Uh, Eula is a pioneer in the uh, lupus recommendations. Eula was the first one to develop the recommendations back in 2006. Uh, and ever since we have updated them several times and this year we saw to build on this experience to streamline them and also because we have new data uh, which uh, uh, regard uh, new therapies, targets of therapy and a changing landscape in lupus. That's why uh, we convene this task force. In um, uh, what's unique about this task force is that uh, we have experts from all over the world. We have experts from North America, from uh, Asia, from Australia. So they are, uh, you know, global uh, recommendations. And the main things that we try to address with these recommendations, uh, we try to make them um, simpler, uh, to make, uh, develop them fewer so we can facilitate uh, their uh, dissemination. And also we have addressed important issues in lupus care, and these have to deal, uh, have to do with the dose of steroids, what's acceptable and for how long, what are the targets of therapy, uh, whether the new therapies, especially the biologics and the calcineurin inhibitors, uh, have made an impact uh, on the therapy of lupus nephritis, and how could somebody incorporate in the, into the armamentarium of the disease. I think this is so important that you, you've tried to incorporate so many different groups around the world because lupus is a heterogeneous disease and now the, the Euler guidelines, as far as I understand, would be applicable to every country in the world, so everyone will be able to use them. Is that correct? Yeah. Lupus is a challenging disease to develop recommendations just because it affects uh, many organs. Still, uh, Euler has expertise and with the, with the help of the global expert, we, we managed to streamline them and make them a little bit more easier to follow and apply them. And these guidelines will be developed uh, later for patients, for internists and other specialties, uh, uh, in addition to the rheumatologists that uh, care for lupus patients. And Professor Bumas, let me, let me ask you, what do you think are the main challenges for developing guidelines that would be applicable to an international community? And what, in your opinion, should be the new trajectory for the next decade in lupus care? That's a very important question. There are countries in the world where some of the new drugs, especially the biologics, are not available. So uh, these uh, Euler recommendations uh, have the flexibility, gives you option according to uh, what is approved in your country. But still they define the same, uh, the, the, uh, uh, a common set of goals, which is very low disease activity, with less than five milligrams of prednisone, and uh, if you can, you discontinue it. That will be a strong point about this in the recommendations. And they use early di diagnosis, early treatment, and early use of other agents to allow the quick tapering of the corticosteroids. Exactly. I think identifying the disease early and starting treatment at, at the early phase of it is so important and uh, so and would you like to convey a message to the rheumatology community and the patients that uh, are listening to us? Yes, we do have now new agents, uh, new drugs available for lupus and uh, this is uh, this allows us to set more ambitious uh, targets for the therapy of lupus patients while targeting remission or very low disease activity and uh, the future is uh, the future is here. There are a lot of new agents are being developed for mild lupus, but also for refractory, life-threatening disease, and we'll be hearing about them uh, much more often in the years to come. Professor Bumbas, thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. We're looking forward to your presentation and the new Euler guidelines for the management of systemic lupus erythematosus. Thank you very much.